going on YouTube? Today I want to talk about an event that our college recently did that was sponsored by the National Flu Power Association to help encourage local high school students to look into applied engineering or engineering technology programs. We did a STEM guitar competition where we gave local high schools a guitar kit and they had to put it together and then we judged them based on playability, based on aesthetics, based on a lot of these different rubrics as it encouraged students who normally wouldn't look into engineering type programs to come to camp to see our labs and to participate in an event that they absolutely loved. This is actually the guitar that my students put together to kind of demonstrate how to, how to complete a guitar kit. I thought they did a fantastic job on this. And you can see there are other guitars here that other high schools did. But what I wanted to do is to share this with you so that you could do something similar. The National Science Foundation has done similar events as well called the uh, National Science Foundation STEM guitar events. So we did something similar, but I wanted to show you a video of the outcomes of this because it was very positive. And again, I want to thank the National Fluid Power Association for sponsoring this event. But as you go through, you'll see some of these videos. I do want to apologize because we had to get moved into a classroom and I didn't have a lot of room to actually show the guitars, but we had a local faculty member uh, who's the assistant dean of agriculture who could play the guitar, go through and actually play the different high school students' guitars and explain to them what are the science behind the guitars. But the one good thing about this that this does teach students, and you'll hear a couple of the students' testimonies, is that they learn about wiring, they learn about series parallel configurations and how to solder. And so that is something that actually gets them interested in these more engineering type of objectives. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. This is a really, really cool guitar. The action's really nice, the neck is really smooth, and it plays really good. I always kind of liked engineering, but a lot of it I think is too hard, but like, I guess like doing it on a computer is hard, but when you actually have hands-on with something like this, I think it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So it got me a little excited about like the hands-on approach to engineering. <laughs> and I'm from Cali County. Um, when I was building this guitar, we first, we did a lot of sanding to it, um, but I think my favorite part was like, when we got it to be able to like, work and the sound, and like, hearing it, how it, it started from just a block of wood and to something that was actually a playable instrument. I've okay. always liked engineering, but I don't know if I could do that as a career, and so I've, but that's always been like a hobby and something that I've, always liked in high school and stuff. As a future engineering major at UT Knox, I, uh, this was a very fun experience for me because I was a, I'm a musician and I always wanted to build a guitar and now this makes me want to go into the engineering field more. Ex finally experiencing the engineering process, going by some dead ends and getting dead ends fixed 
and then just just the end result it sounds great i enjoyed it okay and what would you say the most difficult part of this was soldering it and then so soldering it and when i try to resolder it the wires keep coming off and uh so it's just like a it was a domino effect but eventually we got the domino effect fixed and it oh. ended up being a great great experience